Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about how to get creative with your makeup. I think I wanna make this a series. So today we're gonna to be talking about eyeshadow. The first thing I think you should keep in mind is if you have a specific style that you're into, say maybe, I need a pointer. Maybe you like to contour all the way around your crease and keep it dark uh, to create a more rounded look or a more halo look, stick with that placement. Say you like to do something more lifted, a little bit more um, of a cat eye, and you like to place the dark color on the outer corner of your eye going up, stick with that. Maybe you wanna keep the inside of um, your inner corner very light, uh, or you like something more grunge and you like to do like dark inner corner and outer corner or something. Whatever you're most comfortable with, whatever you think is the most flattering on you, a really great way to start is to stick with that placement in terms of lights and darks. An obvious step, if you're someone who is super into neutrals, add color, dude, play with color. Something for beginners, I've done uh, this video a million times, I feel like, but if you are experimenting with color, I'll link it down below. I have three steps for like how to start playing with color if it's something that freaks you out. That would be my obvious second step is just like, start experimenting with color. Like pick a color that you like. One of my favorite colors to do this with is like a turquoise blue. I love that. I don't know why, I just absolutely love it. My third tip is to play with texture. We're gonna be doing these, but I wanted to go through all the steps. Texture. So if you are someone who pretty much always just uses a matte eyeshadow, think shimmer, okay? Think foil. Uh, maybe you only use matte like in the crease and you'll only use shimmer on the lid or maybe you'll only use shimmer on the inner corner. Bro, consider an all shimmery eye. Listen, it's elevating, okay? Instant glam. Why are they doing this now? All right, so now that we've gone over my like three steps, I want to, I mean like let's put this to the test, you know what I mean? Uh, today I'm going to be using the new Isamea Beauty Wild Star Palette. Dopeness. So she has a lot of really nice like textures in here, definitely makes a statement. I wanna play with some color and textures today, but I also wanna make sure that it's flattering. So I'm gonna start off using this shade right here, which is a very nice kind of like mid-toned for my skin tone, neutral, maybe on the slightly warmer side brown. So I'm gonna use my Refer 14 brush. I'm gonna, the shape that I like to stick with is pushing this area of my eye back in space to give it a little bit more of a lift because this area of my eye tends to hang down a little bit. So I like to start off here, just above where my eye naturally creases. I can kind of feel the bottom of my brow bone. And then I like to kind of bring it down a little bit, swoop it out to create a little bit of a lift. I'm kind of cheating my eye socket. And then rather than bringing it down, because I like to keep this area a little bit more light, I like to kind of bring it up to the bottom of the inner part of my eyebrow. Now this is actually a trick that instantly makes your eye makeup look like high fashion. Bringing your contour shade or a darker shade just underneath your brow bone instant high fashion. You see it so much in um, on runway or in fashion magazines for like big ass brands. So that is something to keep in mind. If you don't know where to start when it comes to color, uh, going by like the clothing that you're wearing, it doesn't have to be matchy matchy, but you can kind of stay in that color family. It'll be flattering no matter what. Looking at this palette right now, uh, the purple doesn't really like stand too much out to me. Uh, I am wearing like a little bit of a lilac shade right now. Uh, however, we have some really beautiful like shift colors. Like these two colors are really standing out to me. And also this like these two colors, really, really beautiful. And also like very complimentary. Checking out the color wheel is also going to be very helpful just to see like colors that you can mix together or have them next to each other. Complementary colors next to each other are going to make them sell, each other stand out a lot. But if you mix them, sometimes you can get muddiness. So you would just want to be careful. I'm gonna start off with this duochrome pink shade. I'm gonna pick this up on a brush, tap it off. I'm gonna spritz it a little bit with a setting mist. And I'm going to place this right in here. So I'm gonna start on the inner corner of my eye. 
because I want to keep in mind keeping this area light because that's what I think is the most flattering on me. So I'm going to buff this in the inner corner of the lid and then bring it in to my eye socket, kind of just like blending into this area, not taking it out too far or too high. If fallout is a concern, you should do your eyes first always. I would have, I just filmed another video before this. <laughs> okay, so that color is not too dark. Also, we have the benefit of reflect. So it's not going to close my eyes off too much. Next, I'm going to grab, oh fuck, I really like that color too. Oh man, they're all really nice, shit. Next, I'm just gonna wipe off that brush. I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna grab this beautiful teal color. And I'm gonna do the opposite. I'm gonna start on the outer corner of that lid and slowly blend that up and out. Now I'm trying not to bring this too high up into that brown because I don't want it to end up looking muddy because we are kind of like mixing a blue and a brown right now. The brown is a little bit more orange, um, which is the opposite of blue on the color wheel. I'm grabbing my Sigma E54 and I'm gonna grab this shade, which has a little bit of pink and orange and then almost this like green yellow shift. And I'm gonna pat that all over the center, gently patting into the first color and into that teal. Just basically overlapping. Now I'm going to grab this kind of like satiny brown color. It has a little bit of gold in it. And I'm using my Refer 13 brush and I'm gonna go over where I put that initial contour shade. So I'm going over a matte with this satin color and kind of blending the shimmer into it with essentially the same shape. So not only do you want to consider your transition between colors, but also your transition, <laughs> transition, what? <laughs> your transition between textures. It sounded so professional and then I was like transition. Um, I'm gonna go through the lower lash line pretty quick. This is a uh, Crybaby from ColourPop cream gel liner. So I'm essentially doing the same thing on the lower lash line, same process. All right, and then for my inner corner really quick, I'm gonna use this color right here. So I'm placing that in my inner corner and then buffing it into my lower lash line. <laughs> I definitely recommend doing your eyes first. I have shimmer everywhere right now. Um, all right, listen, I wanna make this a little bit more grunge. So I'm gonna grab the matte black in the palette. This is the Refer 28 brush. And I'm gonna go over the shimmer on the outer corner. Close to the lash line, I'm gonna place this along my, along my lashes. Don't be afraid to go over shimmer with matte shadows, especially if you're trying to deepen them up. Remember that you can like, really customize your colors. Do you see the instant difference that that makes? And you still have that teal, you still have a hint of that teal, but I've just completely changed the look. Uh, all right guys, so I finished off the look with uh, the glass wing, the half glass wing lashes from Auric, and I also applied the Auric um, Glow Lust in Morganite because I felt like the metallic eyes were a lot, so I didn't want to use a powder highlight. I wanted something that was gonna be a little bit more like dewy. So hopefully if you've been watching my channel for a while, you can kind of see that I stuck with my general placement, but I experimented with color and texture. Those were kind of like the main things that I went a little bit outside of the box, obviously. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions, obviously, or if you want any specifics as far as like, I don't know, getting creative with your makeup in other ways, like maybe eyeliner or um, your face products. I don't know. Uh, any suggestions are always welcome. Just let me know. Just let me know.
P.S. got the earrings on Amazon. They were from this like dope recreation, painting recreation that I did, if you didn't see that tutorial. Uh, but I'll try to link them. They were like pretty cheap. Uh, and my top is Skims. Basically all the tops I wear on this channel are Skims. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope it helped. Let me know if you want to see more. Kind of obsessed with this look. And uh, if you happen to pick up this palette, I suggest doing your eyes first <laughs> before the rest of your face because I have fallout everywhere. <laughs> uh, but it is beautiful. Uh, all right, guys. Good times. I gotta go.